Hi guys, welcome to Kronos. My name is Bala, and we're going to data representation using two's complement Parker model. Okay, so two's complement based on the data is going to be represented by the Parker model. Okay, data is going to represent by the main two types of classifier. Okay, so first one is a magnitude form and the complement formula represent by the Parker. So magnitude formula is going to both signed and unsigned form. Numbers only represent form of the word. So unsigned form level only we can represent positive numbers, but unsigned in unsigned form we can represent only positive numbers. But in signed form we can represent negative and both positive numbers. The word. Then is then another method of representing data is complements form. The word. Complements are used for simplifying the subtraction operation. We can do complements in a two ways. Okay, one is the ones complement, another one is the twos complement. Okay, and uh, complements are used in digital computer for simplifying the subtraction operation for logical manipulation. There are two types of complements for each base or system. For example, one zero zero one here base or radix equal to two. Okay, what? So this is R's complement. Okay, R minus one's complement means here uh, base is two. Two minus one is equal to equal to one's complement. Okay, it's equal to one's complement. Okay, what? So uh, we can say like here base is this is base or radix. This is R's complement. This is R minus one. R minus one's complement. Okay. Okay. For example, here, uh, for example, R equal to two means here R's complement is two's complement. Okay. Here R's complement is two's complement. Two's complement. Okay. And R minus one's complement is R minus one's complement is. Here we have to do one's complement. Okay, this is considered as a one's complement. Okay, and uh, okay, when the values of base R is substituted in the name, the two types referred to as. Two's complement and one's complement for binary numbers. We can uh, uh, represent the binary numbers in one's complement form and two's complement form, and nines and tens complement for decimal numbers. We may do uh, nines and tens tens complement with usual decimal numbers. Okay, ba? So here we are going to represent the data in a two's complement form. There are two. We can represent the signed numbers in two ways. Okay, ba? In the form of ones complement, in the form of twos complement. Here we are going to discuss about data representation using ones or twos complement only. Okay, ba? So what is actually twos complements? We have to take ones complement of the given number and we have to add the okay binary one number one to that. Least significant bit of that one's complement. So either one of the two's complement. Okay. For example, if we now put two's complement, it can be solved. Okay. It's simple. Already, now the videos make funny. Okay. For example, two's complement, if we put on it, now one zero zero. Okay. So an example or number, we consider funny. Okay. So uh, it is a uh, uh, representation of plus nine. Okay. Uh, So the ones complement will be able to get it now. Zero one one zero only is the ones complement formula. Ones complement, okay, what? So if you put one add, then it will be two complement. So if I answer it now, one 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 zero. So this is the two complement. Two complement will be the final form, okay, what? So next one is some problems, okay? So, for example, now you know the data is a data representation using two's complement part part of the form. Okay, what? So, if a plus six will be able to get it now. Plus six will be able to get it now. Zero one one zero nine. Okay, what? 
ஒன்ஸ்மெண்ட்ஸ்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்மெண்ட்ம